Hello, my name's Antara Akila. Welcome to Learn Bridge Online. The last time we talked about the rule of 20 and the rule of 20 was basically, um, you can open in first or second seat, even if you don't have a full opening hand of 13 high card points. Evaluate your hand based on your high card points plus the length of your two longest suits. And if that totals 20 or more in first or second seat, go ahead and open your hand. Um, so an un unbalanced hand or a shapely hand is worth a lot. This week, we're going to talk about the rule of 15. It works especially well if your partner and you already play the rule of 20. Rules are meant to be broken and not rules, not all rules always work well, but this one works pretty darn well most of the time. You can always try it out. Um, here's how it works. With three passes to you, when you're in fourth seat, evaluate your hand based on the rule of 15. Count your high card points, add to that the number of spades you hold in your hand. If that total is 15 or more, go ahead and open. Here's, here's the rationale for it. It's unlikely that you're playing um, for a game. Most likely you're playing in a part score. But if you had passed, you're passing out this board. You're moving on to the next hand, right? And we could possibly have a part score. Here's the second reason. Spades are a higher ranking suit than anything else. So even if your opponents were to now come in, so you open up the auction by saying one diamond or one club or whatever it might be, and your opponents step in um, and they bid diamonds or clubs or whatever it might be, our spades are always a higher ranking suit. And perhaps we might be able to find a fit somewhere else. And if nothing else, whatever they might say, we might just end up in two spades um, or one spade or one no trump, and it's worth a try. Uh, let's see how this works. I'll share some slides with you. So here is the rule of 15. It only ever works in the fourth seat. I've got three passes coming to me. I'm going to count my high card points and the number of spades that I hold in my hand. If that totals 15 or more, go ahead and open. Taking a look at this example here, we've got... 11 high card points in our hands, in our hands, in our hand, and four spades. Totals 15. Go ahead and open. Let's take a couple of, um, let's take a look at a couple more examples. So with this hand, we've got 11 high card points, only one spade, totals to 12. Pass. 1B We've only got 10 high card points here now, but we've got five spades. And putting the total together, that, that totals 15, so you should be opening this hand. Let's go back to the first hand that I had shared with you. Here's what, what all four hands look like. Now, West was the declarer, was the dealer, and they passed. Our partner with 10 points had to pass. East has got five clubs, but they really only have eight points. They don't have an opening bid. They pass. The auction comes around. The bid comes around to us. We are sitting south. We've got 11 points and four spades. Totals to 15. We should be opening this hand. We don't open the hand one spade. We open this hand one diamond in this particular case. What is West going to do? They've got... 11 points. It's a pretty nice looking hand. They've got honors in all four suits. However, they've got nothing to bid really. They like our diamond bid because they're sitting with uh, the king 10. However, they pass. Our partner knows we've opened in fourth seat. We could be weak, but looking at their hand with 10 good points and a four card major, they are going to bid one spade. East can come in with two clubs if they want to. They can pass it out. We can probably pass out one spade. Most likely, we're going to say two spades. Um, and that contract makes. So the next time you're at the table and you get three passes to you, don't forget the rule of 15. Try it out. Thank you so much. And we'll see you again. Bye for now.